Hi there, guys. Okay, so today um, is Sunday, but it's Labor Day weekend, so I'm so excited because we have another day off, and I actually slept until 10 o'clock today. Like, I don't know, but when I was younger, 10 o'clock would be like super crazy early. Uh, but since I have three kids and my oldest is 10, gonna be 11 in October, um, 10 o'clock is like, amazing uh, I was always like a night person like even when I started my job that I have currently when I first signed on my shift was um, 2 to 10 I believe was my first shift and it was awesome because I'd go to work and then when I was off I gotta go out and have fun because I was young um, and then obviously that switched throughout the years now my days normally start at five o'clock in the morning um, as far as like work time so I'm up super early um, I cover a couple of different areas so time change um, does take an effect so I try to get up as early as possible so everybody gets their results and their numbers and their shout outs early um, so they can get started with their day kind of feeling good but anyways blah 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 Felt great to sleep in. So <laughs> I do wanna go uh, to Ulta today because it's the first um, 22 days of beauty. So it started on the second this year, which I don't know if every every time it starts, it starts on the second. I just feel like I don't really pay too much attention to that, but they have some great deals. Um, so today I do wanna go there because their dose of colors and lipsticks, um, and I believe this is actually for the full duration, but they'll probably sell out, are like 10 bucks. Uh, I really like their formulas, so I wanted to pick up a couple of those, as well as the Lime Crime palettes. I have one or two of them. They have three for sale. One of them I definitely have. Uh, however, I don't know if I gave it to somebody to like use and I never got it back. I might pick up a couple of those. I do also want to pick up some of the Tutti Fruity collection by Too Faced and I have like $136 free from Ulta uh, because of how many points I have so I do want to spend some of that good stuff and I figured hey it's the weekend I need to clean this crazy mess as well so that will be happening this weekend but might as well reward myself up front that's how I see it okay done talking let's put on a face uh, today let's see what I want to go with um, I think I want to go back in with this um, Stella stay all day foundation um, so I picked this up at either TJ Maxx or Marshalls when I had done the haul. Um, it's in the color beige. Um, so it just kind of squirts out right on top. Um, I can dip my beauty blender right on into it. I hear a kid crying, so they're probably going to be entering my room soon. Uh, but I really, really like this stuff. And I think it really, for just a random um, color that was there, matches me pretty well. So I'm going to go in with this. Are you guys doing anything fun for Labor Day? Like, I feel like so many people are going away and going camping um, and have, like, awesome plans. And I literally try to cancel everything that I could um, this weekend. Like, oh, tutoring? Yeah, we're not going. Gymnastics? Nope, we're not going. Um, I needed time to decompress, which I rarely ever get. Um, and yesterday actually was kind of cool um, because... It was definitely not a mellow out day whatsoever, but um, I had a great time. So on Friday after school, um, I picked my kids up, and um, after work I after work I went to my mom's um, because I had gone to my nephew's back to school night the night before uh, from six to eight, and then I had a fantasy football draft. Let me just tell you, I know nothing about football, but I hope I win. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, after the back to school night, I had all these notes. So I told her like, hey, Friday after school, like after I get the kids and after work, I'll stop by and cover all the notes with you and give you all um, like the stuff that the teacher gave me to you so you have it and explain it all. Because both of my nephews, who she's raising as her own kids right now, um, had um, back to school night at the exact same time and they both go to two different junior highs. So. Um, I was happy to go for my mom. I had already gone to my three kids uh, back to schools. Um, and it was kind of interesting to see, like, for the junior high, oh, the bell rings, go to the next class, like, all that kind of stuff. My nephew is special needs, so it was cute because one of the kids actually showed up. And he's in all the exact same classes as my nephew. Um, so it was really cute because I could only imagine the two of them, like, interacting. And I met his parents, which were a little bit older, super nice people. Uh, but anyhow, I don't, what even story was I starting to tell? Well, I, uh, went over to my mom's like, yeah, so we had, um, good time. Oh, but my nephew, that's what it was. When I got to the house, he's like, don't you remember Aunt Melissa? You said I could stay the night. And this was like weeks and weeks and weeks ago. And I was like, oh, well, honey, I didn't like say a specific time, but okay. And he's like, okay, good. Like, I'm going to go pack my bags right now. 
So it was like the cutest thing. Like, how can you say no to that? Like, he's 13 years old. He's special needs. He wants to hang out with his cool aunt Melissa. Like, bring it on, dude. Like, bring it on. Let's have a great time. You guys, I really like this foundation. I did try to go back to see if they had more, and they didn't. So I was kind of bummed. So um, we'll see. I do want to pick up from that Sudi Fruity collection uh, the Do Do You or Do Me uh, watermelon smelling foundation. We'll see how that goes because normally I like matte foundations. It's supposed to be dewy, but whatever. So he packed his bags and. Later that evening, we were going to my best friend's house, and we were making keto and shaladas. Not we, because I don't really cook, so she knows that. She, she always invites me over, like, when she does, like, fun meals and stuff. I love her family. They're, like, my second family. Uh, and she's always taking care of me. So we go over there, um, and, of course, like, he comes to, so I have my three kids and my nephew, and then she has her daughter and her daughter's friend and um, her nephew over there um, and her nephew's dad and mom's there um, and sisters come in and niece and niece's friend and their roommate like it was just an awesome time like I love just hanging out with tons of people right like people that you love like it's always gonna be a great time like we played Uno uh, me and the kids did it was fantastic um, so that was kind of my Friday night then Saturday morning we got an open did we open? No, we didn't open anything. We just woke up. <laughs> so we woke up and Chris came over and cooked breakfast for everybody. Um, it didn't feel very well, so I was really excited that he did come over and cook breakfast because it was less for me to have to do. Um, and then I took my girls to an awesome birthday party where they were horseback riding around the lake um, for our neighbor's birthday. They also go to school together and Alyssa, my middle child, is in the same class as her. And it was just this really cute group of girls. Um, so really small group, but of course it's horseback riding around the lake. You can't really have a huge group, but it was like the coolest birthday party ever. They had like a little horse pinata. The girl's really into horse horses right now. I think she, I don't know if she's boarding one or maybe just doing horseback riding over there now. Uh, but it's like right up the street from her house, right? Because I live really close to Folsom Lake. Um, and it was great. Like it was like a drop off pickup um, type thing. So I didn't have to stay there the whole time. I had the boys with me and I made sure like, okay, is this really a drop off pickup? Do you want me to stay the whole time? She's like, no, honey, like there's no parking anyway. Like drop your kid off, let them have a great time and come pick them up. And she sent me pictures. Like it was awesome. Like the girls had a blast. And while the girls were having fun, I was like, okay, let's surprise the boys and bring them to this like bounce house place called rock and jump that they've never been to like they've gone to sky high which is very similar it's like a trampoline indoor awesome place my son's like obsessed with dodgeball on trampolines and my nephew is just all about anything sports related um because he doesn't get a lot of it right so he like is so super excited i go online i fill out their waivers i tell my mom hey Something may happen to your kid. I don't really know, but I'm going to fill out this way I'm going to take him, right? So she's like, okay. So they went. There was laser tag there, and my son has been begging me to play laser tag for I don't even know how long, um, for at least two years. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, honey, we'll do it. We'll do it. It's fun. It's fun. But every time, like, it's like, oh, out of the way, or like, oh, it's full. You have to wait an hour, or oh, this one's really expensive. Well, it's five bucks as an add-on at this place. So I was like, boys, go ahead. Like, let's do it. And the guy's like, oh, it might just be the two of them. Like, do you, if you do it right now, otherwise, if you wait to the end of it we might get more players and I'm like okay well let's wait to the end right so like I have to pick the girls up at 1 30 it's supposed to end at 12 30 that still gets us out there the games 15 minutes 12 45 back to get the girls right so great old time so they go in well first of all there's like jousting at this place there's um climbing a rock wall there's trampolines at the basketballs there's where you can do the trampoline and flip onto something but it's not like the big square like I don't know what you call them blocks of foam it's like an actual like inflated thing so it's way easier to get on and off of other than the place that we're used to um and there is a dodgeball um they don't really play by any rules other than you throw it and nobody really seems to get out um Devin got hit in the face he hit some girl in the face it was a great old time um and then they have the open area for like jumping and flipping and all that kind of stuff which if my girls were there that's what they would have been doing so we do that, they do the, the laser tag at the very end, and they like slobbered the other two kids that were in there. Like their score was crazy, like thousands more than the as other kids. Um, so of course they fell in love and they're like, can we go again, can we go again? I'm like, well, we have to go get the girls, you know? Um, so no, not today, but we'll be back. So me and my mom talked this morning, we're gonna take all the kids at some point so they can all do it and have a good time like together. And then we rushed out of there and I was like, 
okay, these boys have been really good today and these girls are about to have cupcakes and ice cream and candy galore. Um, you know, so let me go and get them an ice cream real quick. So like I literally did the whole McDonald's drive through like, hey, can I get some cones? Okay, awesome. Let's go get the girls, right? So I'm like, you guys better shove those cones down your throat before the girls see them because otherwise they're going to ask. So we did that. Um, and then we go to pick up the girls. And of course they get offered cupcakes as soon as we get there anyway, the boys do. Um, so my nephew's like all about it. Like, let me get that Oreo cupcake. Cause of course they're like fancy cupcakes, right? Like, cause it's a cute little fancy party. Um, and then we pick up the girls and the girls, like as soon as we leave, can we go home and play with Layla? Which is the little girl's birthday party that we just left. I'm like, honey, if you remember, she's still there. Like, we left, like, so no. Um, so we went home, we played at home for a little while. We went to my mom's house after to do the drop off. Um, I try to get my shot cause I get a vitamin B12 shot every week from my stepdad. Um, just, it's awkward for me to inject it myself. I do a daily injectable for other stuff, but for this, it's a, like a larger needle and I prefer it in my arm than in my leg or my, my hip. And so he always does it for me, which is awesome, but we ran out of needles. Of course we call CVS and they're closed for the night. So. We're gonna try to get that this weekend whatever but I've noticed with keto I have a lot more energy too so it'll be interesting when I go to the doctor uh, in about two weeks if they're like yeah like let's try seeing if you don't take it kind of what happens because before that was the only source of energy that my body would actually get um, I have this weird thing called myxedema coma um, which is I had my thyroid removed years ago and unfortunately you need a thyroid to live and my body was rejecting the medicine so it kind of put me in a coma-like state, um, very lethargic. My words would slur. I had a lot of brain fog, fog. Um, my hair was falling out in chunks. Thank God I have a lot of it. Um, so it was just a really rough time and they never took me out of that classification because my results will never really stabilize, I guess. So I get blood drawn all the time. I'm on a crap ton of medicine for it. Um, and enhancers like my vitamin D, I take 50,000 three times a week and then a 5,000 pill every day just to try to get my body to absorb something. Super awkward, I know I'm random, um, but in that whole process of like the thyroid thing because I didn't have one, my body acted like it didn't have a metabolism all, all, at all. So I would be eating salad after salad with like no dressing, just getting something into my body and I would be gaining weight. And my doctor at that point is like, listen, like, do whatever you need to do, like, because obviously, like, any way that you're going to eat, you're never going to lose weight. Like, we had pretty much given up, and I had tried every diet. I went through Jenny Craig. I went through Weight Watchers. I went through everything that I could think of, um, and um, one of, well, and I knew one of the guys at work was doing it, um, but I didn't, I'm like, dude, like, you're a dude. You're going to drop weight regardless. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't really pay it much, <laughs> much attention, and one of the baseball moms is like, oh my gosh, you need to try this keto thing like just try it you know what I mean like regardless of like you dropping weight just you feeling better like I think this might help and so I did like I was like I'm down like you know what I mean like I'm always down to try something if I think that it can make me feel any better whatsoever and so guys I picked this up um through that fit fab fun box and I love it it's called the book of sun um Sunday Sounds and Slumber Still Diary of a Beauty Junkie by Smith and Colt. Oh my gosh, guys, this has been amazing. Like a duo of blush and bronzer and it just looks beautiful. So anyways, side note while I'm getting ready and just talking your ears off. Uh, but so I tried the, the keto. I've been on it for a few months now. I've dropped a ton of weight. I'm down three, almost four pant sizes. I can put the other ones on. Just buttoning feels a little uncomfortable, although I can. Um, and I feel like I have a ton more energy. Here's my son. We'll ask him. Uh, since I started keto, do you think I've gotten more energy? Yeah. Has mommy lost a lot of weight? Yeah. Yeah. Like 83 pounds. 83 pounds? I have not lost 83 pounds. That would be amazing. But no, I have like not. 20. No, more than that. But um, anyways. 30. Keep going. But anyways. <laughs> 40. Do you want to say hi? Yeah. Okay, you got to get in the picture. Hi. So that's my son. Mom. Um, he's in the same outfit that he's been in for like the last three days. Mom. He doesn't like to change his outfits, but he loves Fortnite. Yes. Can I go play the game that you just said? Uh, because <laughs> I, I, I did all my stuff that I was, so I did the table. The Are the girls done? That was the deal, right? I think they're done, yeah. Uh, you Let think they're check. done or is it look amazingly clean downstairs? Like I'm going to be proud of you guys. No, you just said that, you mean the places that you told us to clean? Like, downstairs, I should see the floor in every room, nice and tidy. No, you never said that. Well, I'm going to tell you, you just, that now. No, you just said the kitchen. That's no fair. I, the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room, dude. No, you never, you never told He's me you to cry. do the living room. I didn't say that you needed to do the living room, but I told the girls that it needed to be done. So if well, it, you just said they had to, you didn't say they had to do the 
whole kitchen. We, uh, they just said no, they I said the countertops in the kitchen. Yeah, so I think uh, they just didn't do the one with all the food on it because they don't need to do that one because you don't need that one. Just make sure cooking. it's somewhat organized. It doesn't need to be cleaned off, but it needs to be organized. Okay. Thank you. I'll go tell Caleb to organize it. And close my door, please. You guys, my son's obsessed with that Fortnite game, and I kind of use it to my advantage. Like, if you ever want to play that game ever again, you better do what I say. Um, that's kind of cool. Um, but I don't know. Like, if you guys have boys or girls or whatever, like, around his age, he's 10. Like, are they absolutely obsessed with this stupid game? It wasn't until, like, this baseball season that I was like, okay, you could try playing it because you had to talk to, like, your friends online or whatever. But I'm not huge at, like, you're shooting something and killing someone. Like, that's not cool. Um, and finally, they're like, Mom, there's no blood. There's no this. You can build. So, like, I watched it and, like, maybe I played it, too, just for a quick minute just to see. And although I'm still not a huge fan, it is what it is, right? Like, it's a game. Like, I did stupid stuff when I was a kid, too. They don't want me to help, so I'm just going to call Okay. And then I will be done. Okay, and then when you're done, you can play for a little bit, and then Mommy wants to go to Ulta, I told you. And then, do you already have all the stuff for the keto? I'm just going in with the Ofra. Um, well, I think uh, Alyssa wanted to make a keto recipe tonight, so she was going to pick one on Pinterest, and then we were going to try it. Okay. So she needs to look to see, and you could help her to see if we have all the ingredients or not. Okay. I think it's really cute that like my daughter like super wants to cook right now um which is great because that will help me because I don't cook I hate cooking I buy chicken at Sprouts and Trader Joe's that's already cooked and cut up um and my vegetables normally are already like chopped up or they're put in the microwave um Norvina palette um I really really enjoy this palette it's beautiful so I'm just gonna go in with this If you've been on my channel before you know I don't ever really play on looks I just kind of go in and see what happens I feel like my bronzer isn't very much blended in today even though I'm like oh my gosh this stuff is awesome and beautiful and it, maybe it's just the video itself it could be because the lighting and stuff um who knows I'm not really tripping about it because uh, when we come back we're gonna continue to clean I have the kids cleaning downstairs right now which is why they were up here dang it I didn't do my eyebrows again I always do eyebrows first, and, like, lately I've just been forgetting about them. Like, I mean, I'll go back in and do them, but, like, just, like, oh, okay. I'm going to go in with this Flower Beauty, which, again, is not my favorite because I'll show you how long this, um, like, wand is. Like, who needs a wand that big for your eyebrows? Like, if it was, like, half the size, it'd be very similar to my Gimme Brow or that Dior one that I have, which is totally the size that I think is justifiable for an eyebrow. This is just a little too big. This is, like, a mascara wand. Um, but I'm just throwing a little tint on there so that way they warm up a bit on my face. I should be going in with a pencil, but who's got time for that today? I'm not really going anywhere, anywhere special. I just don't want to be, I've been in Ulta where I've had like nothing on my face and, um, I'm whatever the highest level you can get at Ulta is. So they always kind of look at me crazy where I'm like, oh, you know, do I have any points that I can use or whatever? And then they look at me and they're like, uh, yeah, you got a ton. And then they're like, you? Like, you don't even have anything on, girl. You don't even wear any makeup. But I do. I love to wear makeup. Uh, but sometimes just <laughs> if I'm like running around doing errands, I'm on that one I full face on. Yeah, I am doing a video. Do you want to say hi? But mommy, look. When I was deep cleaning, I found all this stuff. Oh my goodness, you could Look, use all that kind of stuff owl? in your lunch boxes. And, um, um show how cute I this is. This is Tupperware, guys. Like, you years ago, Tupperware book. wasn't cute, but they got cute little no, stuff now. Like, years ago, you bought me, like, a lot of these. I know. Because you had one for all of you guys, had, like, multiple for your lunch boxes. I have a princess one, and then I have my egg thing. Yeah, the egg thing's cool, guys. So this thing, who is this by? Is this by Tupperware? It is. Uh -huh. No, I don't know. Maybe I picked this. No, no it it's Sistema. So I think I picked this up at, like, Walmart or something like that. But yeah, you can just put eggs in it and Walmart. then, like, pop this little open thing up, and then they will cook, and then you're done. So you'll put eggs and spinach and um, tomatoes, which the girls will totally eat. You could throw some no cheese bacon. in there, which is awesome. I have a present for you. Um, I'm really worried that you came up here with a present. What's in there? Open it. Um, I'm a little busy. Why don't you open it for me? So where'd you find that box? Um, in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So it's the same with the things that I found inside. 
It's not anything cooking related, guys. I'm kind of okay. scared. It's a candle! Oh, guys. Okay, so this came in my Fit, Fit Fab Fun Box. It was still downstairs from when I opened it. But it's Moroccan Nights, and it it's a hemp so seed candle. Good. And it comes with a little spatula inside. This is literally a candle and, like, a moisturizer. So I haven't tried it yet. I kept saying that I was going to try it on Chris first because, shit, that's hot. I'm not trying to burn myself, but I'll burn him willingly. Um I'm burn that? Yeah, he'll get over it. He has a lot of skin and he has a lot of hair. Burn <laughs> he has a lot of skin and a lot of hair on his skin. That is hilarious. going to burn daddy? Well, not, like, on purpose. This box is actually just the regular. So I'm going with the love color right now. It's a really pretty pink shade. And this is the box I used. Thank you. Can, can you go put that box in the recycling? No. Why? Because I'm going to use it for the for, oh, for presents. For presents. Oh, where are you going to keep it I to use for presents? presents in the downstairs closet. Okay. Can you go wrap it? So everything downstairs oh, yeah. clean is cleaned and you guys picked a recipe for tonight? Uh, yeah. What are we doing? Are we doing those tacos? Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, and I got the whole table set. Yeah. And you set the table? Yeah, yeah and then we were deep cleaning, and Devin said that we were making a mess. But we yeah, were we were deep cleaning. But we didn't want to get in trouble, so Devin told us to put all So Devin didn't tell us to put all of it Bring away. Bring a passion. So we just put it away quickly. Okay, so is it all put away? Yeah. Like, so I'm not going to walk downstairs and be like, oh my gosh. Yeah, we just have um, one. We just have the corner. Do. Okay, well, go ahead and get it done. No, but Dan said he was going to need it. No, who said that you guys said that he didn't need to help anymore? No. No. He said he had to help. Cause you he, better go tell him because he thinks otherwise. You know, like the yeah, blender you thingy, the juicy help. thingy. He said he had to clean that area and not the actual area by the fish. He said that was our area. The area by the fish is his area. We were cleaning that main that, counter. We were cleaning not that. Dan said he going to clean it in a second. He just joined a match. Okay. Okay, so this passion color is really pretty, too. It just kind of darkens up that outer um, V. Very pretty. I actually want to try this like one night when like I'm going out to like intensify the look because I think if I kept layering shadows like I mean I would be here forever um so for a day look it's fine that I'm not but I think I could really like make this more dramatic and get those shadows to pop even more which is kind of exciting to to know that I can go back in and play with those I'm really impressed with this palette like I almost didn't buy it because I'm like oh pinks and purples and I don't think pinks and purples look great on me I think they're okay um I always get compliments when I wear them, but not necessarily. I don't know if I want to go in the Wild Child or um, the Rose Gold, which are these two colors right here. That Wild Child is a bright pink. Mommy, um, can I make sure everybody's with the cream for everybody? Um, well, how about we get ready to go first? And yeah, but I'm going to clean the strawberries with this because this is a bowl, but you can take it apart. Mm -hmm. I, I know that because I put it together. It's actually really hard to put it back together, but I think it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna go in with that rose gold because that's just clean, drawing my eye more. Can which I at least the clean the can I at least clean the strawberries so we can eat them when we get home? Yes, you can clean the strawberries. Okay. I'm not putting any MAC Fix Plus or anything just because I do want it to be like just a little bit of shimmer, not like a pop shimmer. I might do really that Wild cool. Child though, just in the inner corner, and I'll put some MAC Fix Plus or a it, setting spray on guys, that. This um, is actually really cool because it can be a bowl, but also if you. And it lays flat so you can oh. store it, huh? Yeah. I wish it, you did not have to put the stuff together because it's really hard. Well, maybe you can design one one day that it just automatically comes up and down, huh? Yeah, I there probably like is that. one out there, but. Okay. But yeah, you guys. So I'm gonna mix the mix two, love really and passion, easy. just real quick, a little bit of passion, and I'm just gonna go in to darken it a little bit in my crease. These shadows are really pretty. And I do like, because you could literally do any type of look where it's neutral or a pop of color or a pink and purple or whatever you want to do. Um, you have the ability to do that with this palette. So I think that's kind of fun. Okay, so I want to find like a little itty bitty 
yeah here we go this one will work um so i'm just going in with a itty bitty flat shader brush it's a morphe brush this one doesn't have the number on it um and then with that wild child i'm going to go in to it so i have a whole bunch of product on there let me spray it um because we're like my kids are playing with my stuff so my mac fix plus like has just oh no it's, it's right here um but like a ton of these, like I had like three of them on my tabletop and now I can find this one, thank goodness, but I wasn't able to find any of them. Coconut, love that. The Tutti Fruity guys, that collection by Too Faced, a lot of the stuff smells like coconut in like um, uh, pina coladas. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, so I'm just kind of going into that inner corner and down a little bit. I am getting some fallout. I don't know what color caused that. Um, it's not this bright when it was down before, so I'll have to wipe that away. And I didn't really put too much powder down before. So I feel like maybe I should investigate, but it's not really worth my time. <laughs> okay, so that's down. Oh my gosh, my nose itches. My Oma used to always say she passed away years ago, but she was like the coolest Oma ever. Um, little German lady, like super spitfire, like just awesome. Uh, but she used to say if your nose itches, um, either you're going to kiss a fool or fall in the dirt. So I might be kissing a fool or falling in the dirt. Who knows? We'll find out later. Um, I'm going to go back in with that love, really pretty, and just go right down on the bottom lash line and then the eyelet guys smack on some mascara that had a little bit of fallout too like ooh, okay these shadows are super shop soft which does obviously cause um some more fallout i'm gonna go in with the bad gal bang one of my favorite mascaras but this is a little bit more high end so i tend to always use my essence mascara but i'm trying to get the use out of this before it like dries up this does a really good job of like curling the lash um and it's a nice dark black and then lifting it and giving it volume without really clumping it um, which is great what's up Alyssa? What's up? I'm eating. What are you eating? Strawberry. Oh, with whipped cream? Nope. No, just a strawberry by itself? That a girl? No, I need whipped cream now. We are at the store yesterday, and she's like, Mom, we have strawberries. And I was like, yeah, we do. And she's like, well, how can I eat them without whipped cream? Really? Really? When has this become a thing, that you need whipped cream to eat with your strawberries? Obviously, it's a thing for her. I don't know why I go so slow with mascara. I think I'm always, like, nervous that I'm going to poke myself in my own eyeball. I, like, won't put mascara on other people. Like, I'll try to do it. Like, sometimes I'll do it on my own kids because if I poke out their eye, I guess, like, I made that kid. So, it's their, their eye is my eye, really. Um... But whenever I'm, like, trying to do mascara on someone else, it's like, here, put it on. <laughs> like, no thanks. That's why I don't think I could ever, like, be, like, a makeup artist for sure. Um, because I would be freaking out the whole time. And I don't think you can do that as a makeup artist. Like, oh, I just don't want to put mascara on you, so you're going to have to do it yourself. <laughs> I think that's why people get paid. I don't know. Maybe some people do. Like, if you know a makeup artist or you, you are a makeup artist, like, is that something that you could do? Like, maybe it is, and I just don't know. Okay, I'm going to go in with this MAC, um, Nothing Sexier Pro Longwear Lip Pencil. Now you put the whipped cream on? Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. I never eat strawberries without whipped cream. Uh. Nothing. 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 Do you want to pick out a lip color for me? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Where are they? Uh, there's some in that drawer behind me and then over oh, on my big one. Here, may I oh, okay. store in my gold this for? Do I put one zero zero? Did you put water in it yet? No. Okay, you guys. Okay, remember, she's making her own lunch, guys. Velveeta mac and cheese. <laughs> no, literally, I'm using so, my lunchbox. 
Okay, remember, oh. remove lid and cheese sauce. So there's, here's the lid and then the cheese pouch you need to take out. Mm -hmm. Add water to the fill line cup and then you need a microwave for three and a half minutes. So it's 330 and then start. You guys, this video is not sponsored by anything. Not anything. No, it's sponsored by not charity. Sponsored. Definitely not sponsored. Well, it's sponsored. sponsored by charity. If you will. Okay, so the touch um, in Seoul is a lipstick that I also got in my oh, Fit Fab so Fence. That's what Alyssa just grabbed. So we're going to go ahead and put that right on. Uh, no. I'm not gonna get it upstairs. She's just gonna tell me when it's done. Then I'm gonna go back downstairs and eat it. Mm, okay, Kayla can do a back thing, guys. Mm. I don't know if I'm feeling this lip color with this look, baby girl. Ugh. Let me try to put the other one on top of it and see if I like it better. It's like it's pretty. It's pretty, Mom. What are you talking it's about? It's pretty. It's really pretty. You're always pretty. Aww. No matter what. Even if your makeup doesn't match, you're still pretty. Oh, thanks. You're even pretty without makeup. Because I tell you guys all the time how pretty you are without makeup, huh? No. What? I do, I do too. No, you don't. Uh huh. <laughs> no. You should start listening. I need a blue chain. I'm taking your blue chain. I want this. Okay, guys. So this is like really metallic. Um. That's what they want me to wear, though. Maybe if I put the flat out on top fluffy of it, ball, which is more of a gloss. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. Yeah. Lila got a squishy mold for her birthday, and I already have one. Yeah? Yeah. But it's not the same one. Mine's at Dad's. I sleep with it every day. <laughs> at Dad's. I want, hey, I want to Okay, so I definitely like the flat out, um on it a little bit more those colors are really pretty i just don't know with this particular eye look in my own lunchbox. and i'm gonna use this to hold the mac and cheese yeah. why wouldn't you just eat it out of the container i mean yes for school that's fine but we're not going to school right at the moment i know okay guys so yeah. i'm gonna get out of here because i want to go to ulta let me spray no, my face I go to ulta. what you are not my child yes, I am. no way all my children love the makeup store Except I need, Devin. Get, I need to get new powder. <laughs> okay, so we cool. don't touch me. It's drying. I just put the wood stuff on there. Okay, so we are going to be heading out. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Do you want to say bye? Touch. Bye. 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 Um.